For years, anchor bolt installation has been haphazard at best. Shown here is a typical bolt installation. The bolt has been grouted in with only two to four inches of free length for stretch, which is not acceptable. To properly tension an anchor bolt, there must be enough unbound length to allow the bolt to stretch within its elastic limits. This elastic tension holds the machinery down and adds to its dead weight, which puts compressive forces on the concrete foundation. The unbound length should be 12 times the bolt diameter or greater. Shown here is a mag bolt assembly with tension indicating capability. The special tensioning indicator allows the user to monitor bolt stretch. Used in conjunction with the anchor bolt is a hardened spherical washer. This type of washer can compensate for slight misalignment of the anchor bolt in its perpendicular plane and allows for full contact of the nut and washer against the bolted surface. The bolt is rolled all thread material conforming to ASTM A193B7. Bolt length is determined by the clamping force required and the bolt stretch necessary to maintain this clamping force. Additionally, the bolt should have its full length available for free stretch above the anchoring device. The design of the foundation and rebar must be engineered properly to accommodate the anchor bolt design and location. Surrounding the bolt is a PVC pipe sleeve, which isolates it from the concrete and grout. A bolt coupling nut is pinned to the bottom of the bolt, which allows for an extension of the overall bolt length. In addition, should the upper bolt become damaged, it can easily be replaced. The bottom or anchor section has a resistor plate with two nuts, one of which is welded to the plate, while the other acts as a jam nut. The size of this plate is dependent on the bolt diameter and the bolt embedment depth. The anchor bolt should be installed at a minimum of six inches from the outside vertical face of the foundation. If they are installed less than six inches from the vertical face, they should be encased in a spiral wound rebar cage. Anchor bolts should not be located along the same horizontal plane in a foundation. Otherwise, cyclic loads may induce a shear condition to form at this plane. To alleviate this problem, install the bolts in a wave pattern. This shows the top and bottom load cones. The areas common to these cones are in compression and adds to the dead weight compression from the machinery. Concrete is strongest in compression, but there is a concentrated bearing load at the top of the J as shown. Over time, this concentrated load can cause a failure of the concrete, thereby allowing the bolt to move upward, which loosens its clamping force. Retightening the bolt will only cause the failure mode to continue.